This came under those stairs, which come out to the back side of this bobsled track, off in the woods, above Sarajevo, here in Bosnia. And walking back uphill, back up the track, I wonder what these were used for. They're, they're all over the place, and this one, still pretty hard to even move that. We are walking back up, hoping that the camera battery will hold out for this video. And uh, it was quite an adventure walking inside the track there, but I thought you might also want to see kind of how this thing was constructed. So the track itself up here was constructed separately from the pier foundations that it sits on. And then there's a, a metal connection point in between each of those piers and the track above it. And then the piers, in the corners at least, will terminate up above, as you can see there, kind of hanging over the inside of the bobsled track. And I'm not sure what those piers were hanging over that track for. We'll go in the, in the track and get a look. But I spotted something up here I just wanted to take a quick look at. If you're into looking at old abandoned stuff like I am, you'd probably be drawn up here for a second. So, I don't know what that was, but something Olympic in nature, I'm sure. It was the 1984 Winter Games that uh, this track would have been built for and then used that one time. I don't know if it was ever used again for anything, but as you can see, it's uh, not been used for a while. We'll get a look farther up at uh, the inside of one of those um, curves on the track there. So, yeah, it was great walking down. And then you realize that either you have to keep going, walk all the way down to Sarajevo in the valley, or you have to go back uphill again. So I decided on this one, this option. Looks like we can get on the track right here. And uh, they do have other tracks that sort of join in merge in, you might say, to the main track, or what I believe to be the main track. So there you can see some kind of side track. And I don't know what all the different side tracks were all about. But we'll get a look at this one. It essentially goes uphill from this main track. And it uh, looks like we also have this some kind of platform off on the edge here, which I presume would have been used for probably like coaches. Would Perhaps I'm just uh, speculating and trying to imagine, but maybe it was coaches trying to signal to their bobsled whether they're on track for a good time, or maybe this was for some kind of referees to keep an eye on everything. Maybe some kind of media camera area, perhaps. And then this track, for whatever reason, oftentimes the side ones are sort of like, it's like they're shifted off. I don't know if they were built that way or what the purpose of them would be. Um, but here we're entering a pretty major curve up ahead. And uh, you can see that this insulation, which is covered with moss now, but you can see the yellow insulation under that moss. That's on the top of the curve, but it also wraps all the way under the, uh, the track, at least in the curved parts of it. And I don't know if that was um, to help dampen the uh, impact on that concrete wall as the bobsleds would ride sideways through here. 
if it was meant to keep noise down so that maybe the TV audio would be a little better. Or, my number one theory, maybe it was used to uh, sort of insulate the track and the ice that would have been on here. I think this would have all been covered with ice. And how do you get all that ice up onto a wall like that so perfectly for the uh, precise needs of an Olympic athlete? Maybe the insulation helped keep the ice nice and smooth or who knows. Here's another area up ahead here that uh, got some steps which lead to a little path going underneath this track. Down in there. And the endpoints of each of these concrete pillars seem to have a number on them. This one looks like it's 62. Hopefully you were able to confirm. And uh, I don't know if they would have had lights on those as well, if there was any nighttime bobsledding, but they all have numbers. They appear to be sequential numbers, so that uh, maybe they used it to help with the um, timing, how well they were doing, charging down this track. So, coming up another spot here where you can see lots of different tracks kind of converging and going off on their own. So, more speculation on why they would have lots of different tracks, but uh, we can say for sure that this took a lot of effort to construct all of this stuff. And they had to do it for, I suppose, a couple of different sports. We know bobsled, but right up here, it almost looks like there's a starting point for a different kind of uh, sport where maybe they, is there some kind of like a uh, little bit more open, open vehicle type of, uh, sledding that they could have started from right here and then perhaps used a shorter track for that. Up ahead you can see how this curve, kind of a picturesque curve there, and maybe it's a good place to leave this video and end it. As you can hear and maybe see over there, this track is open for you to come and walk on if you choose to do so. So, if you're ever in Sarajevo, take the opportunity to ride the Olympic cable car up to the top of here and then walk down the track. Keep in mind, you have to walk back up again. So, that is it from the bobsled track. Hope you'll join us for some other videos on the channel. Until then, goodbye.